Welcome back. Fall, of course, is squash season, and here in Oklahoma, we have a lot of farm fresh options to choose from. Carolyn Begay from Begay's Primetime is back today to show us how to make maple sausage stuffed acorn squash. Good job. <sighs> Got through it that job. time. That is a tricky thing that to say. That is tricky. Oh, well, there's gosh. nothing that screams fall more than squash. Than this. Yeah, fall And I was squashes. saying earlier, this just smells like Thanksgiving mm -hmm. it has, here already. It has a lot of those kind of flavors and a lot of those kind of hints and things. And we yeah. were discussing a little bit about it's a little difficult to, to use the fall squash because they're such a tough texture. Right. But what I have found on these is you basically treat them where you put a slit about every other one, put okay. it in the microwave for about seven minutes. It's nice and mellow. You can slice it, take oh. the seeds out. Super easy. It's like a baked potato. It's when like I'm at a that baked point. potato in the okay. same realm. And we kind of uh, we don't utilize this vegetable as much as as for a side as we do a main dish. So that's kind yeah. of what I wanted to bring in today. So with the idea of the maple sausage, yes. um, you know, going along with the fall flavors and so on and so forth, you can buy mm -hmm. maple sausage in grocery stores, oh. but if you want to just get some plain sausage, add some maple syrup to it. Either or, way works, yeah, whichever sage, way you want to mm -hmm, do it. Whatever you want to do. So the stuffing simply got, it's got the sausage in it, it has panko. Oh, I just Whoops. lost that one. We'll just and, leave that. And we'll leave that there. <laughs> we'll get that, but we're not yeah, going to use we're that. Not gonna okay. use it. And we've got panko and parmesan. Okay. We've also put some sage in there. And then we have sauteed apples and celery and onions and added a little brown sugar. So we basically just add that to that and mix those things together. With a clean spatula. With a clean spatula. Okay. And then we can basically mix that and then put those in our um, acorn, squash. acorn squash half okay. and then put a little parmesan on the top of it finish it out for about 15 minutes in the oven makes a great entree yeah and and kind of adds to that a lot of times people will just simply put butter and brown sugar in it and make it a you know kind of a side type thing yeah, you can do that too but the thing about that's really great on these is they're full of vitamin C Really? It's full of vitamin D oh. and a lot of really nutritionally dense uh, components yeah. that go into the acorn squash. And I feel like we mentioned a big reason we don't utilize this is because it is so difficult to kind of work with because yes. that texture is just really, I don't know if it's super friendly to work with with how tough it is, but like you said, microwaving that is going to make a huge difference. Huge difference and it makes it so much easier to use and, and so much easier to work with gotcha. at that point. And I know we topped it off with cheese and this is not melted. Is this how you want it? It's just well, you can go can you ahead. Melt it? You can go ahead and put it in the oven for about 15 minutes and it'll go ahead and make that kind of a, okay. a browned topping you know bringing it here I didn't have that option to where it didn't look like it was that's okay <laughs> it was already worked to death you know so this is this is the concept but it's a nice little accumulation of fall things yeah. it's pretty easy you can get it done pretty quickly and you know it, it should uh, kind of broad span lots of people's appetites so. and I'm gonna say if you live alone you have I mean two meals yeah. to go <laughs> I didn't realize how soft this would be after you yeah. microwaved it that's mm -hmm. an interesting texture yeah. and it makes it much easier to work with for yeah. sure well and it smells delicious too and something you can't have all year. No. So, yeah, might want to make it. It's a good thing for the fall. All right, for Carolyn, sure. thank you so much again for this. If you'd like to check out this recipe and others just like it, go ahead and log on to newson6.com/kitchen. Brian and Stacia will send it back over to you guys.